Welcome. This is Fantasy Fling. We are looking at daily drafts. Looking back real quick at week five, the week that was, and then we are going to look at some strategy for the week six daily drafts, whether you're drafting on sleeper, underdog, drafters, we've got you covered. In fact, if you are using sleeper if, or if you haven't used sleeper drafts, give it a try. Use code fantasy fling for a deposit match. It's fun. Uh, let's get into it. So um, I want to look back at the weekly winners. This is a kind of a best ball uh, DFS contest and see what is working for this contest and, you know, kind of what we can take away going forward, trying to attack this contest next year. So um, let's see, 235 points was what won this contest this past week. Uh, it was Jared. It was a Jared Goff. It looks like stack. Um, so we get no, it just looks like it was Jared Goff. So David Montgomery. Okay. So we got a little bit of a stack there. Uh, Jared Goff, David Montgomery, and then, uh, Carolina was on the other side, but it was Travis Etienne and Zach Moss. And then, um, we also have DJ Moore, Jamar Chase, and Zay Flowers. So really just a Jared Goff, a David Montgomery stack, and some really good plays. Um, not seeing any other stacks in this game. But, yeah, really good lineup. And sometimes that's what it takes to win these. You know, it's kind of a, a combination. So the second-place lineup, that let's look at these top five that won second. We have Joe Burrow as the quarterback, ETN, Devin Achan, and Alvin Kamara. And so this had DJ Moore, Jamar Chase, and Adam Thielen. So really what this was was a Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase lineup. Let's see. And we have Goddard at tight end. So really no other stacks, just that one. So not going crazy with the stacks so far. Builds, Moss, Hall, and Montgomery. So, obviously, we're going to have DJ Moore, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle. So, really good wide receiver core with the top two guys scoring uh, over 90 points. Tyler Conklin. So, yeah, it was just a Fields to DJ Moore stack. And that looks to be it. And obviously, and also he had a Brees Hall and Tyler Conklin stack in addition to that. So that's the top three. Let's look at four real quick. Jalen Hurts. Got it. Okay, so there, there's the stack. Jalen Hurts stack. Jamar Chase, uh, Pickens, DJ Moore. And then we got Etienne and Mostert. So... Um, I'm betting Moser will have a better week this week with Achan being out and going against the Carolina Panthers. And then this one has Brock Birdie. You know it's going to have Kittle, right? No. Oh, my gosh. Did not have Kittle. So Sam Laporta and Dalton Schultz, two tight ends in this lineup. DJ Moore, Jamar Chase, and George Pickens. So really just kind of waited on quarterback. I'm guessing was a strategy. And, you know, loaded up on the studs early. And that certainly works, too. So, ETN, Brian Robinson, ETN leading the way there. And then Brock Purdy with 26 points. So, pretty good lineup to win $7,000. Um, let me go ahead and shut this off real quick. So, let's look at what uh, Week 5 did for uh, some of these contests. Um, specifically uh, the daily drafts and, you know, this, I think this was the large fill GPP. Yeah. So this has 60, uh, almost 68,000 entries in it. And obviously uh, this is probably going to produce a little bit of a higher score. It did pretty well in this contest this past week, made a little bit of money, um, but certainly not the 30,000 I would have liked to have won. So uh, Jalen Hurts stack of Dallas Goddard was what, took this down and also had a Puka Nakua bring back. So there's that Brees Hall, Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase. So um, looks like started double wide receiver. Jamar Chase went pick number nine. Tyreek Hill went pick number four. And 
going to guess Jalen Hurts was the third pick. Yep, pick 16. Brees Hall was going to be pick 28. So it went uh, Hill, Chase, Hurts, Puka, Brees Hall, and then Goddard. So double wide receiver, quarterback, and really the last, and then running back in the last pick was Dallas Goddard to, to finish that Jalen Hurts stack. So one thirty thousand dollars great build. Jared Goff and Sam Laporta. So we had another stack there, and it was a great spot with Amon Ross St. Brown being out. So Jared Goff to Laporta. We got David Montgomery as well in that stack. So Goff, Montgomery, Laporta, Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase, and George Pickens. All right, let's look at one more here. So Hertz. This is very similar to what we saw earlier. So probably started Tyreek Hill. Pick number two. So yeah, went a little quicker on that one. Um, Jamar Chase. Pick 11. We know. They came back around and got Jalen Hurts. Pick 14. And then probably went Joe Mixon. 26. Brees Hall, 23. Oh, so Brees Hall was a priority given the matchup against the Broncos, Joe Mixon, and then finished up with Dallas Goddard. So same type of build, uh, more or less really good stuff. So let's go back to this one. Now this was a smaller, uh, contest. So, you know, as far as contest selection, I think you want to kind of play both of these, a contest of 5,600, much easier to win than a contest of, you know, 68,000. So just keep that in mind, you know, diversify, play a little bit of both. Um, obviously it didn't matter for me. I did a lot worse than this contest, but uh, you could see the scores. You can see the difference in scores here, right? Um, 155 points compared to this one, which was 166 points. So, um, you know, that's just kind of how it goes when the contest is smaller. All right, so let's see what won this one. And so Jared Goff. Wow. So really no stacks in this one? Interesting. So it just goes to show, like, the, the bigger contest, like, you need to stack. This one just kind of played all the perfect plays. And, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to want to stack anyway. But it wasn't necessary here. So, uh, J Jared Goff, well, that, that's a late pick. Guarantee that. Yeah, 55, pick 55. Um, Dallas Goddard, pick 42. So, basically, loaded up early on Jamar Chase. That was probably the first pick. And Alvin Kamara and um, Jalen Waddle. So, Jamar Chase, 7. Zach Moss, that's a crazy pick. That that. A little bit of luck there, right? Um, let's look at second place. I'm guessing there was some sort of stack. So, yeah, Russell Wilson and Brees Hall stack there. Um, Jamar Chase, Michael Pittman, George Pickens, and Dallas Goddard. Um, third place, Burrow to Jamar Chase. So, again, you know, stacking is why, that's why uh, we look at these lineups because it's going to work most of the time. So, Burrow, Chase, and doesn't I don't see any bringbacks and then uh Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall so another stack there George Pickens Garrett Wilson didn't do much but didn't matter great lineup to still win 1500 so um let's kind of look ahead to week three or I'm sorry week six and let's just do a live draft so I'm gonna quickly go over some of the guys that uh, I'm looking to target this week, but um, let's see. Let's do the, the main slate. Let's do this one. Draft starts in a minute. Okay. 
So a couple of guys that, you know, that I think are projecting really well this week that I'm looking to target based on matchups. Um, Raheem Mostert at running back position going against a bad Carolina defense. He is projecting really well. Uh, I also like DeAndre Swift this week. For Philly going against the Jets, believe it or not, the Jets have a good defense, but they do not have um, the best run defense. Um, at wide receiver, there's a couple guys that I'm really targeting. It's kind of the expenses guys, which I'll probably try to get one in the first round. That's going to be Jamar Chase uh, going against Seattle. That's one of the higher game totals on the slate. And uh, and we got Tyreek Hill again, um, you know. They have a 30, over a 30 point team total going against a bad Carolina team. So those are a couple guys. I think if they're available, I will take them at the top of the draft. Um, so really I'm going to take probably Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase, or a Raheem Mostert. So Christian McCaffrey went first. Let's see what's left for me. So Tyreek Hill, I'm guessing Chase will go here. Yep. So um, it's going to be Raheem Mostert for me. So at quarterback, you know, we can go over that as well. Look at the top projections. Tua obviously is a guy that going against that Carolina team is projecting really well. Justin Fields, uh, I really like Justin Fields this week. He's looked much better the past two weeks. So him going against uh, Minnesota team that's, uh, you know, not very good. And, you know, it has never been good really the past several years in uh, on defense in the secondary. So like Justin Fields to keep it going. And, um, you know, a couple other guys I would be targeting, I think, with a matchup is, is quite good. Jalen Hurts, he always has that good rushing floor. So there's consideration for him there. Um, you know, Matthew Stafford going against Arizona and Joe Burrow going against Seattle. All right. So we're on the clock again. Um, Pukunokua took him there. That's a game environment I definitely want to target. Even though Cooper Cup was back last week, he still had a, a lot of reception. So I think he could do a lot worse. And that's a game uh, environment that I think could go off a little bit. Five picks away. So um, moving on to, you know, I talked a little bit about running backs, Christian McCaffrey, obviously, Kamara, Jacobs, Mixon, um, ETN, I think is in a good spot. If he's available, he's a guy I could certainly target um, coming up here. Also, Kyron Williams, I think, um, going against Arizona, I think that would be a good direct leverage play because I think a lot of people are going to be playing, you know, Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup Puka Nakua. So, I think that would be a pretty good pick. Uh, looks like Justin Fields went. So if I can get the Stafford stack, that's probably where I would go with Puka. Um, Jalen Hurts is still available. So he's still in consideration for me going against the Jets. And with him, I, the Jets aren't very good against the tight end. So if I did end up with Hurts, I would most likely look to target um, Dallas Goddard. But a couple of guys in this range that I'm seeing, Jalen Hurts, ETN, and David Montgomery, I think I could take really any of these guys so far. It's my pick. All right. Jalen Hurts is still there. I think that's going to be the play. So, yeah, wide receiver, Tyreek Hill, Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase, Devontae Adams. These are the top guys. Um, kind of surprised Adams 
went as late as he did. But uh, it is a tougher matchup, I think, going against New England. Um, and, you know, just New England overall, I think they know, you know, uh, Bell or uh, McDaniels pretty well. So that could be, I think, kind of a lower scoring game. All right. So after Adams, we got Kamara. ETN still there. Um, there's some pretty good plays here. Pretty shocked that uh, Travis Etienne did not go off the board there. So that's going to be the pick for me. So right now we're looking at, we got Jalen Hurts, Raheem Moster, Etienne, Puka Nakua. A um, little weak at wide receiver, so I definitely need to um, emphasize that with my next pick. So Walker Laporta in front of me, Kyron Williams after me. <laughs> Couple guys that are in this range that I that I, I really do like. Um I I think Devonta Smith would obviously complete my uh Jalen Hurts sack, and he's been really quiet to start the year. So I certainly would love that if he is available in this next pick. That's where I would go. Um, and that would give me a little more flexibility at tight end to not have to pick Goddard if I don't need to. Um, but specifically with Sauce Gardner being on AJ Brown, I think this could could be a Devonta Smith week. If there's ever a week for Devonta Smith, this certainly seems like the week. All right, so it looks like I got one more pick. So far, I've ended up with Hertz, Moser, ETN, Puka, Devonta Smith, and then, um, you know, we're going to take a tight end. So there's Goddard, there's Cole Komet, Evan Ingram, George Kittle. These are all guys that I really like. Not sure I want to force that Jalen Hurts. Double stack typically don't, but if it's there, I certainly will take it. All right, let's see who has a better matchup here. Projects better. Goddard. Yeah, I think it's going to be Goddard for me. So my tight end rankings, um, you know, kind of as we're going over this, the guys project the best this week. And by the way, I look at uh, all my projections over at DFSArmy.com. I do content for them as well, uh, you know, mainly DraftKings and FanDuel, cash content, cash game plays, uh, but also, you know, do a Millie Maker review, just kind of a weekend review as well. Um, I believe they have the best projections and you know, you get the chalkboard to kind of see who the best plays are and the optimizer. If you play on DraftKings, you want to use an optimizer for stacks, just just the best optimizer as far as projections and ratings and overall ownership. And, um, you know, I love using theirs and you can use all the tools for a uh, VIP membership, 10% off use code fantasy fling. If you want to check out their projections and you were interested in playing like on DraftKings and FanDuel and Yahoo DFS. So definitely check them out. Uh, my top tight end rankings of the week over there, what we're seeing from one to five, TJ Hawkinson, Evan Ingram, Laporta, Komet, and Ertz. 
um, with Goddard just outside the top five. And then over at defense, obviously, that's not too much of a concern there. Um, but uh, if you are playing on DraftKings or FanDuel, build on a lineup or looking to stream a defense in your season long, 49ers, Eagles, Dolphins, Falcons, and Vikings have the top ratings this week. So uh, I think that it will do it for this week. Um, sorry I didn't get this out earlier as far as the, the week in review. A um, lot going on this week, a little sick. So doing better now. Um, you know, best of luck this week. And of course, I will see you uh, this coming week with more plays and more reviews. So thanks for watching. Take care.